So today I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the iPhone 7. And this is the 32 gigabyte version in gold. And this is the unlocked version, which can be used with both CDMA and GSM carriers. So let's go ahead, get the phone out of its packaging and set it up. And the first step to doing this is to peel off this tab to remove the outside plastic packaging. So I'm going to pull that tab and there you go. The phone is now out of its cover. Very simple. And now let's open the box up. The cover comes off very easily. And next is something I haven't seen on an iPhone in several years, which is the packet with the manuals and information guides right on top. It's usually the phone on top, but this time they've put this package right here. And real quickly, before we move on, this package contains a quick start guide, a SIM slot opening tool, some warranty information, and your standard Apple stickers in the back there. And now, very importantly, you have the device itself. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the 32 gigabyte gold version. Now we'll be setting it up in a moment. So I'm gonna put this aside for now. Okay, and now let's see what's under the device. First, you have the all new Apple earbuds. Now these aren't the more expensive wireless earbuds, but these are the wired earbuds with a lightning connector. Now it's important to remember that the iPhone 7 doesn't have a headphone jack anymore. So you will need to connect things like headphones through the lightning connector. And right under that is the lightning to USB cable to charge and connect the device. And last but not least, you have the AC adapter. Oh, and I almost missed something very important. Right behind the packaging for the headphones is this extremely important lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter. And this is very helpful to help you plug into older headphones with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So it's now time to set the phone up. Now this video is just trying to get the phone out of the box and set it up. I will be doing a full review of this device. So if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe to stay tuned for that full review. And to start setting it up, you first need to peel off this plastic cover and pull on that tab till that plastic cover comes off. And next, let's power on the device. And to do this, we're gonna press down on the power button, which is on the right-hand side here. And there you go, the device boots up and it's still booting up. Okay, so it's booted up to the welcome screen. I'm gonna hit the home button to get to the next step. Now this is a unlocked phone. So it requires that a SIM card be installed before you activate it for the first time. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop a SIM card in there and then we're gonna complete the setup. And in case you bought it from your cell phone carrier, it probably already has the SIM card pre-installed. In my case, I'm gonna to need to put my old SIM card in here and that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've inserted the SIM card, which is in the SIM card slot, which is on the right-hand edge here. Okay, and I'm gonna power the device back on. And now it asks you to select your language, which I'm gonna do. In my case, obviously it's English. So I'm gonna hit English and I'm gonna select my country, which is the United States. And then on the next screen, it asks asks me to select my Wi-Fi network and I'm going to do that. Select my Wi-Fi network and enter the password. And there you go. It's uh, connecting to my Wi-Fi network and it's connected to the Wi-Fi network. And then it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. On the next screen, it asks me if I'd like to enable location services. I'm going to hit enable. And then it asks me whether I'd like to set up touch ID. I'm not going to do that right away. You can do that at any time or you can do that during your initial setup. And touch ID for those who are new to the iPhone is the fingerprint reader system on the home button, which you can use for several different things, including unlocking the phone, making payments, etc. Very useful feature. I'm not going to set it up now, but I highly recommend setting it up. And I'm going to hit set up touch ID later, and then I'm going to hit continue. And now it asks me to set up a passcode. This is absolutely important. You cannot activate your phone without this. You need a six digit passcode, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the next screen is extremely important because this helps you to restore data, that is transfer data from either your old iPhone or your old Android phone through either iCloud or an iTunes backup. Now, most people who have an older iPhone will probably use the iCloud backup option. Now, in case you have a Mac or PC, which is set up with iTunes, you can also use the iTunes backup option. And if you're moving from Android, it guides you step-by-step step to transfer this data. Now, in my case, I'm not gonna do any of this. I'm just gonna 
gonna set it up as a new iPhone. I'm just gonna hit that. And you can do this if you're a first time iPhone user and don't wanna transfer any data from your old device. So I'm gonna hit set up as a new iPhone. Now on the next page, it asks you to sign in with your Apple ID and password. And if you don't already have an Apple ID, it's very simple to set it up. So if you don't have an Apple ID, go ahead and set one up and then sign in. In my case, I already have an Apple ID and I'm gonna sign into that. Okay, so I've signed in using my Apple ID and I'm gonna now hit agree to the terms and conditions. And now it says that it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID with this device. Okay, and on the next page, it asks me if I'd like to start using iCloud Drive. In my case, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna hit turn off iCloud Drive. I'm gonna touch that and hit continue. And then it says that it's updating the iCloud settings. Now it asks me if I'd like to set up Apple Pay. Now you can do this either now or through wallet in your settings once you've set up your phone. In my case, I'm just gonna hit next and then hit set up later in wallet. And on the screen that follows, it asks me if I'd like to set up the personal assistant, Siri. Now you can do this right now, or again, you can do this in the settings. I'm gonna now hit don't use Siri. And on the screen next to that, it asks me if I'd like to send diagnostics to Apple. I'm gonna hit send to Apple. And on the screen after that, it asks me if I'd like to share my app-related analytics with the developers. I'm gonna hit don't share. Now the screen that follows is extremely important. This is because of the fact that the iPhone 7 doesn't have a traditional home button. It has a brand new simulated home button and we'll be looking at this in detail in the full review. But Apple wants to help you sort of customize the feel of this simulated button using this menu. So I'm gonna hit get started just to see how it works. And to calibrate the feel of this home button, it asks you to select between three different clickability options, one, two, and three. One seems to be the least clickable and three is the most clickable. So you can switch between these three different modes or settings, test the home button, and sort of see which feels better for you. In my case, I seem to like two, which is sort of a medium setting, and I'm gonna keep two and then hit next. On the screen that follows, it asks me to select my display zoom. So I'm gonna select the zoomed option instead of the standard option. And then it shows you what that option looks like. And I'm gonna hit next. And then it says, welcome to iPhone, get started and your phone is now ready to use. And as I said earlier, I will be doing a full review of this device. So if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to stay tuned for that full review of the iPhone 7. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link to different versions and colors of this device in the description below. So feel free to check that out. I'll also leave links to some cases that will fit this device in the description below. So feel free to check that out as well. Hope this video has been useful. If it has been useful, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.